everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new then welcome um, my name is Kathy and I hope you do consider subscribing I do uh, live sales on YouTube I do live sales on Thursday at 4 15 p.m. Eastern and also on Sundays at 9 o'clock Eastern actually on Sunday there's three of us it's called the chatty kitties and it's Sabrina with Simon says let's make a deal and Leanne from crafty kitty vintage and this Sunday is going to be on Leanne's channel, Crafty Kitty Vintage, so I hope to see you there. Actually, this video might come out Sunday, so you will um, hopefully you'll watch us tonight. Anyways, um, I also do haul videos, unboxing videos, I do crafting videos, and so forth. So anyways, I'm going to get started with some unboxing. I have two items here. And I will put the link down below of the sellers who I brought these from. The first one is from Mary Ann, All of the Attic Treasures. She usually does sales on uh, Fridays, Friday afternoons. I can't remember the exact time. I want to say around 3, 3.30 maybe uh, Eastern. Um, she hasn't had any the last couple of weeks, but she's going to start again. So this is something that she upcycled. I need to get it out because it is for Halloween. And Halloween is just in a couple of days. So um, I'm still scrambling trying to get things together. I'm usually done by now. And I will be having a um, Halloween video out too. So you can see how I decorate. I try to do that every year. But anyways, let me get this open. I should have done this before, but I didn't. And I am having a little difficulty. So let me see. I, I want to keep the box because um, it's, I like to reuse things. Okay, I'm back. I did get the, <laughs> I finally got the box open. Now I'm just unwrapping it. Took me a minute. Oh, this is so cute. I love this. This, um, she has shown on her live sale, and then she ended up showing these on, or selling these on Instagram. Oh, I love this. Let me get my, oh, yeah, I will show you in a minute. <laughs> I want to see real quick. Oh, wow. She did an excellent job on this. So what she did is she took an old print, and then she made it her own with the Halloween. I hope you can see that. It is so, so cool. And I love that frame. That frame is really cool. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have to display this somewhere in my Halloween decor. That is so cute. Look at that, I love it. Thank you, Marianne. She did a great job on that. I have a lot of talented friends out there. And she gave me a card. Oh, how cute. Cute little Halloween card. Thank you. So that was Mary Ann, All in the Attic Treasures. Awesome lady, really cool lady. And then my next one is from Erin um, from the, let's see, Erin Proctor. I think his channel, YouTube name is Erin uh, Proctor. So I got some Christmas postcards from him. Because if anybody knows me, um, I do love ephemera. I love postcards. Um, oops. <laughs> so, yeah, I got some postcards from him. And let me get this open. Oops. Oh, my goodness, my scissors. I need to be careful with this. I don't want to damage these at all. Okay. He finds the most amazing ephemera. Pictures, um, postcards, books. Oh my gosh, these are really cool. And there should be 20 in here. So I got a lot of 20. And every Friday he's on with, uh, on Sandy and Otto, Trisha, and Sue Spezio with the Sue Spezio show. Uh, it's every picture tells a story, and they're on every Friday night. 
Oh, look at that one. Oh my God, I love these. Some of these, I'm gonna scan them and use them in my junk journals. They're so cool. I'm gonna try to go through them quickly. Oh man, these are nice. So that I have to decide what I'm going to do with these. Um, I know I will definitely keep some. I may offer some for sale. I don't know yet. Wow, this one is really cool. I wish it didn't. It doesn't have a date on here. Made in Saxony. I'm thinking it was German. Um, but wow. Look at that. So cool really nice that one that one really nice that's 1911 so a lot of, of these are antique in really good condition a lot of them are in boss oh wow look at this one i love the ones with santa claus on them wow that's really nice that's 1910 I used to collect Santas. I still kind of do. So that, that's definitely gonna go stay in my collection. This one's beautiful too. Nice little winter scene. This one's 1911. Really nice. Thank you, Erin. Very nice. And like I said, I will put um, both of their links down below in the description so you can go check them out. Okay, and then for yard sales. So, oh, and thrift stores. I went to two thrift stores, so this is gonna be all mixed up here. So I think I went on um, Wednesday, which I, I usually go on Tuesdays at Goodwill. I haven't been to Goodwill in about two, two or three weeks, but I did go to um, Sunshine Acres. I don't know where I got these. I think this, okay, I, got, I went to uh, Sunshine Acres Children Thrift Store, something like that. And I also went to Purple Heart Desert Thrift. This I got at Purple Heart Desert Thrift. This wood camel, which I thought was really cool. So I picked that up. Let's see if I can remember everything I got there. Um, I got this zebra. Somebody dropped off their zebra collection. So I got this one, which is cool. This one he moves, the, the legs move. And I'm not sure if it's plastic. It's like a really hard plastic and then this one which is ceramic and then a wood so I've got all three different materials of this little zebra different zebra um, and then I think I got this bell there I can't remember <laughs> Where did I get the bell but it's really cool it's a brass bell nice tone Really fancy. I'll probably keep this because um, I love brass. I usually don't collect bells, but that's a nice one. That's a really nice bell. Um, and what else did I get there? That might have been all that I got there. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Um, but then I went to um, the desert. No, I went, I'm sorry. So sorry. Sunshine Acres Children Thrift Store. So, I didn't get those there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am so mixed up. I, I One more thing that I, I picked up at the Desert Thrift is these two little, they look like snow babies. I don't know if they are. They look like the snow babies, but they're like little firemen. They're both really cute. They're both identical. Um, I don't know if I can get the sticker off. Oh, yeah, they're department... I think the department 56, it looks like it. So they are the little snow babies, so cute. That's nice if you know somebody that's a fireman. Oh, and I also got this little box, the little trinket box. It's a religious uh, little trinket box. It says something about Holy Communion. Here's my glasses, let's see if I could read this. Uh, it's, oh no, it says extraordinary minute, Minister of Holy Communion. It's a little br brass, it's like a pillbox. And then I got this little cross, it's wood, and then it has some type of a tin embossed 
um, relief, I guess, on there. So I thought that was cute, nice, cute, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, do I, today? I'm so confused. Um, and I think I got this there, but I'm not sure. This might have been from a yard sale last weekend. I don't remember if I showed it. It's abalone and, and it is marked, but I cannot read it, even with a magnifying glass. But um, a nice little pin, brooch. And then I went to the children's thrift store and I picked up this. Now this, she has a little bit of damage on her nose, but I think I may be able to fix that and paint it and then you will never know. So she was really pretty. You can hang her up. I believe she was made in Japan. And why did I take off my glasses? And where did I put them? I found them. Okay. Uh, it is Sam, Sam Myro, Japan. Isn't that pretty? It's very mid-century modern looking. Of the Madonna and Child. And then I also got this over there, and it's like a cloisonne vase. Oh, I do have to take the sticker off. That's really pretty. It's brass, it has a wood base, and it is cloisonne. You can't see the flower too good because there was a sticker on there. So I'm gonna have to soak that and get that off. It's really pretty. Nice little vase. And then um, she was sorting out buttons at the counter. So I thought I would pick up a bag of buttons because I you never have enough buttons, right? Says the girl who's got five zillion buttons. But anyways, I did pick up a bag of buttons. <laughs> I do use these a lot for my crafting. So I've actually gone through a lot of the buttons that I have, especially the metal ones, because I like to put those on my tags that I make like for Halloween and Christmas. Um, so I have used a lot. I also picked up this. This might have been at the previous thrift store also. Um, it's a glass little sun catcher. It has a hole there where you can hang it up in the sun or in a window. It has the moon and it looks like a star, but I just thought that was so pretty. So I got that. And then um, I know I got more things there. I know, oh, I got two brooches. That used to be my honey hole. They really changed a lot, but they did have a nice selection of brooches, but nothing was on sale, so I really didn't buy a lot. At the other store, the Desert Thrift, they were 25% off. They had their uh, senior days on Wednesday, whereas Goodwill has it on Tuesdays. But this one did not have a discount, so I just bought a few things. I didn't buy too much because, um, you know, the prices weren't fabulous. I think that may be all that I got there. Could be more. If I find it, I'll let you know. <laughs> then I went to yard sales today and we picked up some goodies. Um, I got this little tin just because I thought it was cute. I think this was today. This might have been from the thrift store too, actually. I can't remember. I did buy a tin today, but I don't know if this was it. If we see another tin, then, then this was from the thrift store. So I got that. And then these little squirrels that are so cute. I said I'm not going to pick up any more salt and pepper shakers, but I could not pass these up. These are just adorable. And they were a good price. I'm sure they're made in Japan. They do have their stoppers. And they're a good size salt and pepper shaker. They make nice little figurines. So I got those, especially for fall. Perfect for fall. Um, and then I got this little brass elephant. Like I said, I love brass. So I picked that guy up today. And also I got a cigar box. I keep planning on do, I wanna do something with these cigar boxes. I wanna do some kind of a decoupage on them and just fancy them up and use them for um, like craft supplies. But I also got this little butterfly paperweight. Um, I think she was selling a lot of her grandmother's items. I know because her grandmother was in, inside. She had, kept having to ask her how much things were. But she had a lot of butterflies. Um, this is a little butterfly tin that's brass. Oh, it's a candle. It has a little candle in there. I might try to get that candle out 
but it makes a nice little trinket box. So I got that. And then um, I got some, you know, odd stuff. Like I got a bag of lunch paper, lunch bags, you know, for a buck. <laughs> I got some crepe paper. I think I got three of them. One of them I'm, I'm using right now, um, an orange one for, I'm still decorating for Halloween. So, um, but these were like, I think 50 cents each. You know, it's half price of what it is at you know, the store. So I did get that. I got a Halloween t-shirt for myself. Um, I need to wash it so I can wear it. I, I'll wear it either t tonight or tomorrow. But it's a really cool Halloween shirt. It looks brand new. I don't think it's ever been worn. It still has that crispy new feeling. I might have to cut the collar a little bit because it's a little bit high up for me. But I thought it was cool. Orange and black with skulls and ravens. Really neat. I had to remember to wash that. And then um, I got some candles. I could never have enough candles. And it was a dollar for all of these. Three, four, so six of them for a dollar. Can't beat that price. And they're just a generic, they're kind of a yellowish um, ivory color. So it's good, you know, for any time. And so what else did I get? I almost forgot what I got. <laughs> I got this little box, little, um, I gotta clean this up, this sticker. This sticker's been on here forever, you could tell. Um, one of these, you know, for jewelry or, uh, you can put a flower, little flower, dried flower arrangement in there or whatever you want. It has an etched, etched flowers in there. Oh, I just noticed this crack. Darn it. Oh, I just noticed that. I didn't notice it before. Right there. Darn. What a bummer. <laughs> okay. Well, it's not too bad, though. I mean, it's not all that noticeable, I guess. And from that same lady, I thought this was unusual. First, I thought it was salt and pepper shakers, but they don't, they don't come off. So it's just this little, two owls sitting on this little, like, stump, I guess. Um, and it's made with some kind of composite, some type of plastic composite. I thought it was unusual. So I did pick that up. It has to be washed. A lot of these things have to be washed still because they're kind of dirty, kind of dusty, you know, from being in storage. And we live in Arizona, so it's a dusty kind of place. Um, I picked, ooh, something's, what the heck is in there? What is that? I don't even know. Okay, sorry. Um, this is restaurant wear and it's a cup and saucer. I've never seen two pieces together, so I did pick that up. It's really heavy duty. It has a little flower in there. It's really nice. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. And I think I have one more item. And that's this little glass uh, bird, which is really cool. So a little art glass bird. What is that thing that fell out of here? This is weird. Oh, well, it goes off with something. Nothing that I have. It looks like a bird wing, and it's kind of like a, out of wood. Huh, very interesting. Okay. I'll have to put that somewhere, and maybe if I go over there again, I'll find out what it belonged to. Okay, and then we're almost done. I think I just have this one bag left. Um, what, oh, this is funny. I had to get this. I just had to get this. <laughs> it's a Hillary um, Nutcracker. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so funny. So stainless steel thighs, cracks toughest nuts. Uh, the Hillary Nutcracker. Is America ready for this Nutcracker? So I just thought it was funny. Poor Hillary. But it was funny. I mean, you know, she might find it humorous too. I don't know. 
but um, I thought it was hilarious. So, the Hillary Netcracker. Um, what else? Oh, this little frame. I just sold a large frame like this. And I've had a little teeny tiny one. Look at it. And it's just like the one, I had a, a large one, beautiful one. Um, but I picked this one up today. And this one I'm gonna keep because I can display little pictures or postcards in here. Um, let's see. I'm finding, well, if I could find one in the right direction, but you know, like I think it'd be better if it was portrait. If you could put a little postcard or a picture in there, it would be really cute. So I got that and then um, uh -oh. oh no, what happened to my little, if I didn't lose it, I had a, a little brooch. Oh my gosh, I don't know where it went. It was a little, a little skull brooch. I hope I didn't lose it. Um, these people were having a yard sale and then they told us we we're getting ready to leave. They go, oh, go next door because this gal is having a sale too. And we went over there and nobody was there. She had all her stuff out. And there was other people looking too. And finally, um, we told the neighbors, are you sure she's having there? Yep, yours. So they went over, knocked on the door, and then she came out. But I got these two little bottle stoppers. It's all glass. This is glass. That's glass. It has a little bit rubber here. But I thought those were really nice. So I did get those from her. And then, um, boy, I wish I could find that little brooch. I'll probably find it. Hopefully it's somewhere. I got a little brooch that has some rhinestones in it and it's, um, I didn't drop it. it. Anyways, um, I got this little, that's not really a tapestry. This is kind of like, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. It's like upholstery fabric. You can make pillows or, but I thought it was really nice. Very good quality. And I like the, the image on it, the picture. Very French. So I did pick that up. Um, and that's it, except for my little brooch that I can't find. I hope I find it, because my husband keeps asking, did you pick up that little skull brooch? I said, yes, I did. And he asked me again. I said, yes, I did. <laughs> and now I can't find it. So I don't know. I have to go see if it fell in the truck. Otherwise, um, it's very possible that I dropped it somewhere at the at the yard sale. But anyways, thank you for watching. Um, please uh, make a comment down below. It really helps my channel. It helps the algorithms, the YouTube algorithms, and it helps my channel. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers before December, when is my birthday. So I'm hoping I can get to 1,000 subscribers. So please, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Tell your friends, your family, um, and subscribe. It is free. There's no charge, no fee to subscribe. <laughs> it's completely free. And like I said, make a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite item was or just give me an emoji, whatever you want. And thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you in my next video.